My name is Dr. Rachna Shroff. I am the chief of the Division of Hematology Oncology at the University of Arizona Cancer Center. On behalf of my colleagues, I am so excited to be presenting a rapid oral abstract on Monday, June 3rd that really looks at the importance and known gender disparities in scientific programming at ASCO and ASCO GI. Uh, there's a lot of data that suggests that there are disparities in terms of opportunities for clinical trial leadership and uh, clinical research publications between uh, males and females. And so we noticed just anecdotally when we were sitting at GI ASCO one year, myself and my colleague, Dr. Koons, that there was perhaps a predominance of men at the podium when looking at scientific presentations. So we decided to look at this retrospectively and we looked from 2019 to 2023 at the GI scientific programming for both ASCO's annual meeting as well as ASCO GI. And what we found was is 77% of the speakers at the podium for both ASCO and ASCO GI over those five years were men versus 23% for females. Uh, we also noticed that there was really no difference that that sort of disparity held itself uh, when we looked at both ASCO and ASCO GI. And it did not differ by region. We looked at Asia, Europe, and uh, America, as well as by topic, meaning colorectal versus non-colorectal topics in the ASCO programming. Importantly, when we looked at the educational programming for both ASCO and ASCO GI, which is under the purview of the ASCO Education Committee and ASCO staff, there was a nice gender balance between men and women in the sessions for both ASCO and ASCO GI across the five years. So things that were within ASCO's control, it was really wonderful to see that there was a nice balance. But clearly there are notable disparities in terms of opportunities that are provided for podium presentations in the scientific programming. Uh, we recognize some of the limitations of this study include that gender is actually not reported uh, in the ASCO database. And so there is no self-reporting opportunities and thus we made dis determinations on gender identity based on uh, name and or the presentation and, the, and the, the look of the individual. And we recognize that as a limitation and an opportunity for us to think about how ASCO can improve identity uh, or demographics in their database. But regardless, we really think that this is the first step towards recognizing the disparities so that we can move the needle forward and really push for more equity at the podium, which will, of course, lead to improved equity across clinical trial leadership, clinical trial development, and in general cancer care. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.